welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you guys for your continued support please subscribe to our channel if you haven't turn on the bell for more video welcome our new members to the old ones god bless you if you're passing by please join us as you're supporting us may the lord support you in everything you lay your hands amen to the news in details guys do us a favor if you haven't hit the red button that says subscribe the bell that says all oh, you get to know when we upload new video allow me to read the news the way it is the news in details review food import bound to tackle hunger cso tells buhari the coalition of civil society organization in castina has expressed concerns about the level of hunger and poverty in the country it implores the federal government to reconsider the ban on importation of food products as an interim measure pending the time the country will be safe sufficient in food production. The CSO declared on Saturday the coalition is seriously disturbed by the level of unemployment and poverty, hunger, caused by the bound and the insecurity in the country, both of which are making it difficult for majority of Nigerians to afford even two meals per day. That is the news. Let us quickly take some reactions from some Nigerians. No more importation of food if we no fit feed ourselves make will die of hunger. We have plenty of amiable land and good weather. Somebody says, he doesn't give a damn about Nigeria because he is from Niger Republic. <laughs> he won't listen. He never takes good advice to move the country forward. All he wants is what will benefit his bandits. Hmm. I dislike this man with my full heart, <laughs> somebody says. No president has destroyed Nigeria like Buhari since 1999. Food, food importation ban is not the problem here. Insecurity is the problem. Your papa get farm for China. <laughs> Guys. I'm so sorry, but this, some comments are just unbelievable. Somebody says, cows destroyed all the farms and farmers killed in Benue State. How can there be more produce? We know Benue State to be one of the high places where foods are being cultivated, somebody says. The call by the civil society group is sound. It sounds and it makes a lot of sense. I fully support it. We have plenty of lands and good weather. If we are not able to feed, to feed ourselves, what else can we do than to rely on importation of foods? He shut down the border in the south and not to allow foods, but opened the one in the nut for terrorists to come in. The worst president any country can ever have. Review food import with the current Skyping dollar exchange rate. Inflation will hit us the hardest ever. Somebody says, he won't as Dango to Nahim friend. He wants food from the nut going through the country and making themselves richer when killing southern farmers to make themselves richer. Youths wake up, don't vote 2023. Okay, guys, these are some of the reactions. We have a lot of them. People are not taking it lying down. First and foremost, we should be asking ourselves the question Nigeria is the giant of Africa. Nigeria is, is blessed with fertile lands and good weather, as a lot of people mentioned in the comment section. But if we should stand and tell ourselves the truth, the problem that Nigerians are facing is the insecurity. That is just it. 
whereby people go to their farms and they do not come back alive. Whereby people go to their farms, they are kidnapped. They are kidnapped from the farms or they are raped or their crops are destroyed by the cows. And when they complain, the government are not doing anything about it. Because the cows and the owners are being funded by the government themselves. So they do not care. Yet they close the border in the south and they open the one in the north, allowing the bandits to come in. We should be asking ourselves the question. It's not that Nigeria cannot feed her citizens, but the problem is insecurity. People are afraid to go to their farms. Do you see the genocide in Benue State? Do you see the killings in southern Kaduna? What about Niger State? No place in the country is safe. So how can people go to their farms to produce and to produce crops? And this is the time a lot of harvest ought to be done. We are blessed with fertile land. But the problem is our leaders are the major problem because they do not want to tackle the insecurity that is ravaging its citizens. I'm going to say this again over and over again. Before anybody is being sworn in as a president, as a minister, as a governor, as a senator, their first priority, the oath they take as a human is to protect the life of every citizen to make sure that their citizens are safe. But no, the people are dying with hunger. The women are scrapping for safety because no place is safe any longer. A lot of people are displaced and nobody is saying anything about it. Kotsi to Boko Haram, Kotsi to Bandit 3, Kotsi to um, Fulani Hensman. And the president is doing nothing about it. All they are clamoring is 2023 election and still some people that would not think twice will come out again and vote the old cargoes in. These are my thoughts. Let me know of yours in the comment section below. Please at this point, if you're not subscribed to our channel, do us a favor. Hit that red button that says subscribe and the bell that says all. I want to quickly thank everybody that have been watching our videos, sharing out our videos and liking our, our videos. Please let me know your thoughts in the section below. I love you guys and I will see us again on my next video. Bye-bye guys. Bye.